the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, dear friends, as you see, I have a, a lady, sorry, and a gentleman here, a sister and a brother, from the United States of America. They are not uh, American, uh, how do you say that? Tourists. Tourists. Yeah. Uh, sightseeing. Huh? Uh, but they are friends of the Holy Land. And before being friends of the Holy Land, well, uh, they are lovers of Jesus Christ. Uh, God-fearing people. Actually, we don't say that we fear God in Christianity. We love God. So, oh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, look at the camera, I'm not photogenic. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Christine Hobby, and I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona, which is a part of Phoenix. Arizona used to be part of Mexico? Uh, it did, a long time ago. Until 1848, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a history test, <laughs> uh, No, no, just to tell you that I know something. Yeah. Somebody called Santana, etc. Good. Yes, yes. yes. Great. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, so you happen to be a, a Christian? I am a Christian. a Catholic. Uh, well, uh, what's the... Well, I don't ask you if you are married, if you have children. And I'm married. I have four children. Two girls that, and two boys. Isn't that romantic? Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, uh, how about um, your relationship, your personal relationship with, with, with God? I, I would, mean, would say with Christ. I mean, is... Is it just that you you are a Christian because your your parents and grandparents were, or is it much more? It's much more than that, and I I I have felt it a lot more since I've been here in the Holy Land. It's just oh. so emotional to be in the service today and just to understand our brothers and sisters here. They're just like brothers and sisters in America. It's very emotional. Yeah. By the way, I gave a wonderful sermon, which you didn't understand. You gave course. a wonderful sermon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we sure could, it was wonderful. We well, could you tell were by the, the congregation's reaction. Yes. It was very positive. Yes. Ah, you mean, yeah, that nobody <laughs> shouted and because they were sleeping. <laughs> no one walked out. Ah, uh, no one walked out. Uh, are you sure you, they were awake? <laughs> <laughs> well, great. So, um, good. And uh, is it, um, do you have a special time in your life where actually uh, you had, you discovered more the love of God? Or is it simply uh, a way of life since your childhood, uh, may I ask? It has been a way of life since my early childhood because my parents were always very active in the, in the church. And my mother... Can you talk louder? Uh, yeah. yeah, my parents were always active in the church. My mother played the, uh, the piano, the organ. Uh -huh. But I think when I was probably in my mid-teens, I finally, you know, I, I really consciously made the decision to follow Christ. And uh, how about you? Uh, my name is Dr. Hugh Dempsey. And, you said uh, Dr. Hugh Dempsey. Doctor of? Uh, early Childhood Education and Child Development. Oh, so you can help me a lot. I work with <laughs> priests all the time, Father. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, child is something and child abuse uh, is something else. Uh, mm. uh, well, yeah. well, right. And I'm yeah. from Washington, D.C. in the United yeah. States. And right. I serve uh, with the uh, Holy Land Christian Ecumenical Foundation, HCEF. And um, since becoming involved with HCEF, I've really become richer in my understanding of the reality of living in the Holy Land as a person who is faithful to Jesus Christ. And um, so we are, Christine and I are right. volunteers here, and we are working to do whatever we can to ensure that the Christians in the Holy Land know that they are loved and prayed for, and that we are doing everything economically to help them stay here. Well, how did you get in touch, ma'am, with uh, the, um, I suppose, with Mr. Ratabrabia or, or whoever from the Holy, you said? Holy Land Holy Christian, Land Christian Ecumenical, Ecumenical, Ecumenical Foundation, HCEF. HCEF. Yes. Isn't that too long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead. I yeah. met Ratib Rabier one month ago, about 20, 29 days ago. He came to Phoenix, and uh, both him and Dr. Hugh Dempsey were in a luncheon, and uh, we had luncheon with uh, several of the priests, and 
um, in Phoenix, and I listened to his talk about the Holy Land. I had been here about five years ago on another mm -hmm. trip, just exploring and trying to understand you know, the, the conflict and the issues here. But when I met him and heard him talking about his program, and the business that I do is uh, training, and he asked if I would come and do training for uh, the, the call center here, uh, the uh, first call center in Bethlehem. And mm -hmm. that's what I do for my profession around the United States. And um, wow. so I did some training this week. Um, I did a women's empowerment workshop in Where is that? Beit Sahar. Oh, great. Yeah. Yes. Well, may I ask you something? Uh, because, of course, you, you are a strong uh, Bible believer. Uh, visiting the Holy Land. Did it help you to understand much better the Bible? It helps me understand how the Bible is alive because the people right. here, it, it brings the Bible alive for me. Yes. Yeah, I, I suppose that here in Beit Sahor you see sheep, you see shepherds. Mm -hmm. Well, many of your kids, so I suppose, uh, never meet any no. uh, shepherds, or do you see any shepherds in the skyscrapers of New York? <laughs> 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 right, so when you come to the Holy Land, you touch realities yes. uh, which we have in the Bible. Uh, how about the, the support you talked about, uh, Doctor, you talked about support. Uh, what sort of support? We don't have much time. Uh, which means that you don't have to reveal many secrets. <laughs> <laughs> there are no secrets. HCEF yeah. uh, is, has been working in the Holy Land for about 14 years. Uh -huh. And we are primarily involved with uh, housing rehabilitation and now housing rehabilitation loans. This afternoon... What does that mean? That means that men and women uh, living primarily in the Bethlehem area can come to HCEF to talk about their, the home in which they live if it needs renovation, oh. restoration, they can come to HCEF for assistance um, to figure out how to get it done and how to get a loan from a bank or something like that to make that possible for them. But then you would have cues from, from here to Hebrew. Well, we've <laughs> been doing it for 14 years. We've, yeah. we've rehabilitated about 358 houses in the Bethlehem area. Oh. Um, and so it's been an ongoing, an ongoing program. We also do, as you do, mm -hmm. uh, child sponsorship, which you do mm -hmm. such a beautiful job, Father, with helping mm -hmm. Christians go to school. Uh, and that is what HCEF does, but in the United States. Right. Uh, because we think it's critical that the Christian schools remain open and that they remain uh, available to all the young men and women that want to, to attend it. But this afternoon, Christine mentioned our call center. There's an opening mm -hmm. this afternoon uh, at the HCEF office uh, where we will inaugurate that. And we will hope and pray that when it is fully operational, we will be able to ho hire about 100 people. And we hope that they are Christian. So we are working very hard to make all of that possible. So uh, Great. please pray for us as we right. pray for the Christians in the Holy Land. Yes. Great, I'm trying to have a good memory, uh, so tell, tell me if I'm mistaken. Uh, it's thanks to Father Emil, Emil Fa Salaita. Father Emil Salaita. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he was course, parish priest. When he was a parish priest here, Emil, and then of course Emil's Patriarch uh, Sabah, Michael Sabah. Uh, when, when he was Patriarch, and Ratab Rabia, who mm -hmm. is uh, Palestinian, but born in Jordan but Palestinian. He is the founder of HCEF and is here in the Holy mm -hmm. Land several times during the year um, and working mm -hmm. to ensure the secure future. Great. Well, thank you. I wouldn't give any Arabic translation of, <laughs> of this talk of ours because then you would have so many crowds <laughs> at your place. <laughs> but uh, let me just ask a very... Uh, uh, a last question, which is not very innocent, you will understand later why. Uh, did Father Emil Salaita have any uh, positive role in the foundation, in founding the uh, this, uh, or was it just an initiative of Mr. Ratabarabia in coordination with Father Emil? 
No, Father Emil uh, was very involved with the very beginning of this. Um, uh -huh. He w is familiar with America. He has oh, family very much in so, America, yeah. uh -huh. and he would come to the United States to tell the story uh -huh. of the Holy Land. And from those meetings, and the meetings between Father Emil and Ratabravia, who was a businessman at that time, yeah. came the idea that there needed to be an organization to help. So it was Father Emil with the Latin Patriarchate and Ratabravia with his business background that created HCF. Great. Yeah, my question was in order to tell you that uh, Father Emil Salaita used to be one of my students at, ah. the, <laughs> at the seminary. Uh, talking about family in the United States, I have only 11 nephews and nieces in the In States. the United States? Yeah. Well, don't uh, tell me who they are because they'll line up to see me. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let alone the grand nephews and grand nieces. Anyway, so thanks such a lot. You know, we have our time is so restricted, but I am very moved by your, by your solidarity, by your support, actually by your faith. First of all, you know this uh, this uh, relationship of of love with Christ, which we talked about with uh, Madame. Uh, Christine. 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 Hobby. Hobby, yeah. How do you spell it? Hobby. Oh, simply hobby. <laughs> so you have an eternal hobby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, sorry. I, I keep losing track of things. Well, so thanks such a lot for being here. Uh, by the way, how is uh, Father, uh, Father Aziz? Uh, this is a library which is an initiative of his. The gift shop and the yeah. library is yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I had to be torn away from the counter yeah. because I was shopping. So ah, yeah. I had to come here well, for this, but a, I'm going to go back out and buy more. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bad turn from me. Uh, uh, but, uh, well, needless to say that Father Aziz too was my student at the uh. seminary. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my successors here. Well, thanks such a lot. Uh, Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. God Father. bless you. God bless America. God bless you too. And God bless your native countries, which you should not forget, by the way. Mm -hmm. And God bless Palestine. Thanks Ireland forever. Thank you.